everyone, and welcome back to Gamesplaining, where I take a look at games and explain them to you. And today, we are having a look at Risk of Rain 2. For those of you that haven't played Risk of Rain 1, this is, uh, it is a, uh, it is a 2D platformer, roguelike, that has this kind of interesting element of uh, a scaling difficulty that scales with time. So, for each second you are in a run, the difficulty of that run increases. Now, uh, that is kind of interesting in the way that you really want to speed run things because you can benefit from being really quick, not gaining a lot of items, but being really quick, then the later levels does not become too difficult for you. And that is um, kind of an interesting way to do it, I feel. Now, uh, you have obviously different sort of characters that you can play in the first one. And the second one is... Uh, there is no difference really there. The second one is surprisingly very much like the first one. I think that's the first thing that I noticed about the game that I found super interesting. When I started playing Risk of Rain 2, it felt like... I just was playing Risk of Rain 1 with some 3D put in. So uh, basically all the enemies that you face or uh, anything like that, you will have faced in the first one if you played it. It is very much similar to the first one and uh, that kind of makes me happy and it actually made me really like the game. Because I really liked the first one, the way that they handled a lot, of, a lot of the enemies. The enemies were cool, kind of weird designed, and they were very dangerous. You had to be kind of kind of good to the, dodge them. Now, in the second one, still the same kind of interesting enemy design. These sort of shrines that you can find while you're in a run. And all those sort of things. The enemies do exactly the same thing as they did in the first one, but on a 3D spectrum. So... Uh, Whereas an enemy would shoot a uh, line of laser, like this big guy, the uh, enemies in the first one would just shoot like down a line on the 2D spectrum and you would have to jump or like dodge backwards to dodge it. In this it becomes a bit more easy to dodge those kind of abilities, but they are very much tracked. So you will get hit by them a lot. But yeah, that's kind of why I found this game super interesting. It is so much like the first one, and I really love that. But, back to explaining what the game actually is for those of you that haven't played the first one. So, as I mentioned before, it is a uh, 3D roguelike with the elements of... Uh, you basically gather items by opening these sort of chests that you might have seen me opening as I was playing. Gaining different items that do different things. Now these items, you unlock more and more of them as you play by completing achievements. Like there is one specific one where it's, oh yes, gain 3000% uh, more movement speed and then you unlock an item. Gain 200% more attack speed, unlock an item. All those kind of things and uh, there's a very interesting way to do it I feel like. Plus this game is very challenging. Uh, depending on what character you play, you can play this multiplayer. Uh, not depending on the character, obviously, but you can play it multiplayer. And depending what character you play, if you're playing single player, this game is very hard. Like this archer that I'm playing right now, she is not very good at playing solo. She is a bit too slow, she deals a lot of damage, but she can't really dodge and uh, she doesn't have as much health as the other characters, I feel like. That's what I feel, uh, anyway. Um, but then there are some characters that are obviously made to play in multiplayer. Like this robot guy, or single player rather. This robot guy, he is super good. He is just one of my favorite characters right now. This, this like machine gun thing scales well with a lot of the items. And that's why I kind of like him. I think that's the problem why the archer doesn't feel as strong. I have not unlocked as many items that are good for slow shooting characters compared to characters with a high attack speed. Like this guy. Jesus. Look at that. 
How many shots per second is that? At least like 10. That is a lot of shots. And... Uh, I think that's one of the problems right now. This game is still in early access and being developed, so I can't really say that much about that sort of balance and uh, the amount of items that are in the game. Because that's a, that's a thing that will come with time. But what I can tell you is that I love the gameplay. I think the gameplay is super fun. It is a lot about being on the move most of the time. Trying to quickly find this teleporter that will take you out of the level. And uh, trying to just move around, kill enemies, get gold, get more items. Plus you can do some very interesting builds. There was this one time where I, I was getting... Uh, I was getting a lot of these Soldier Serum, as the item is called, which increases your attack speed. Now, uh, after a while, I found a replicator, or a, a printer, 3D printer, as they're called. That's what they call. And uh, you can, with those, uh, if, if the 3D printer is for a white item, you can put in a white item, and you will get the item that it's set to replicate. And it was replicating Soldier Serums. So I got like eight of them, and my attack speed was out of this world. I was shooting so fast, it was incredible. Ah, I love that sort of thing. And then I just need some sort of on-hit effect, and my build would have been insane. I did not get that far, sadly. This is actually the last level that I've gotten to. I think this might be the last level in the game. I'm playing here with the Engineer. This is the first time I played the Engineer as well, which was kind of insane to me that I got this far. Um... But he is kind of an interesting character as well. I think all the characters that are unlocked so far are fun to play. They are fun in their own little way, and you have to play them quite differently. Like this guy, uh, luckily I got that uh, on my queue, I have a usable item that I found. And I got a uh, black hole, as it is called. And uh, you shoot out the black hole that draws in enemies, and it's super good with this guy because he can throw down mines. So you just throw down a crap ton of mines on the same place and then draw in all the enemies to that place and they just disappear. I really like this kind of character. He is super interesting. And uh, obviously surprisingly good. Can put down his shield. He is very immobile. I think that's the problem with him. But yeah, that's Risk of Rain for you. I hope you got a little better understanding of what the game is about and uh, kind of what you do in it. Uh, I love the game and I hope you like it too. Have a look and see because it is very good. Now uh, if you like the video as well remember to like, subscribe and comment down below what kind of video you would want me to gamesplain for you and I will do that. But I have been you lad and I will see you guys next time.